Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. It is vlog number 11, if I'm not mistaken, uh, as far as I can remember. So, I completely forgot about the tree that was missing, uh, that got stolen. But also, I have a big surprise for you guys. So as you can see, we have a little bit less money. I had a chat with Isaac, uh, who actually owns the field right next to us. And uh, he said it's okay for us to use a part of that, not the field itself, but a part of the land, a piece of the land, uh, that he's not going to use. So we got a chicken farm, chicken coop. So I spent the entirety of today uh, literally building this fence. I got the little hut thingy uh i got that from isaac as well uh he said he's happy for me to have that because he doesn't use it anyway as long as he can feed his family with the eggs that we get and i'm i said well that sounds to me like a brilliant deal so we have now got a chicken farm now i don't have chickens yet uh i will prob i have ordered them but i'll probably get them maybe tomorrow uh, and it's cash on delivery, so uh, I don't know how many uh, we're actually going to be able to fit in here total. I only got 50 uh, and one rooster, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, and they will probably, you know, uh, what do you call it? Reproduce. So, for now, I just wanted to show you this. Uh, for now, I'm actually going to go rest. Uh, I am really, really tired. Building this took all day. Uh, it costs a couple a, a couple of grand. It costs, I think it was just over 6,000, if I'm not mistaken, uh, for the wood, pretty much. And uh, uh, yeah, so we're going to get the chickens and, uh, well, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow. They promised it'll be fairly quickly, uh, but we'll see, I guess. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, for now, though, I'm going to head back to the house and uh, rest, and I'll see you guys in the next morning. All right, so it is the next morning. Uh, I've already gone to pick up the trailer. Jeez, that needs a wash. Oh, I forgot to tell you, actually. Uh, while we were hunting, one of Zach's uh, helpers on the farm actually washed our tractor for us. So it's really nice and clean now, which is awesome. Very kind of him. Uh, so we're going to go pick up seeds. I already ordered it. I put in the order last night and said I'll come, in, come and pick it up this morning. So we should have two bags of seed waiting for us uh, out the front. Uh, I did call them and check, and they said, yes, uh, it is ready to go. Um, so we should see it. Yep, there it is. Um, I believe, yeah, this is ours still, actually. We need to actually pick that up. I completely forgot about that. Whoopsie. I'm sure they probably complained a little bit. Can I fill it like this? Just turn the indicator off. I don't think so. I think I might have to put it in the actual lift it, which will be quite difficult. I think so. Uh, we'll have to see, I guess. Right, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, I'll have to... I'll have to Put it on there. All right, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to ask them if they've got maybe a forklift or something I can use. Uh, and then we'll... Uh, yeah, well, uh, we'll just have to do this. And uh, I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right, that was actually quite easy. Uh, one of the one of the workers uh, actually helped us. He just used their forklift. Uh, put it, He hovered it over. And I just cut it open. Filled it all into the back. And that way we can put it easily into the chicken coop uh, i believe our chickens have been delivered as well because uh, they did uh say i need to pay the money so uh, i paid the money and i'm assuming the chickens are there uh all right so that's actually done now uh that was quite easy the one of the workers just uh helped us with their forklift lifted it up i cut the bag open into the into the trailer so it'll be easier for us to empty it uh, into the chickens uh, in for the chickens not into the actual chickens uh, and also when i oh i'm running out of fill uh and also when i um took it when i went to when i went to pick up the trailer the uh sorry that fuel beep threw me off there um it uh 
they brought they were there for the chickens as well so they're actually waiting for me uh, i don't know why they didn't call me i don't think they had my number uh so i did pay for the chickens and we now have 51 chickens uh 50 and then one rooster so uh yeah we're gonna feed them now and then that should bring us into money over the winter while we don't really have money should have used my indicator uh i'm scratching my nose sorry uh anyway so yeah, that should definitely help. I need to move these uh, implements to face another way. So we can actually use them. Because <laughs> currently they're all facing the uh, chicken coop. Which is going to be difficult to actually pick them up with. I might need to give Zach a call. Maybe he can help me with that. So I believe it just goes in here. There you go. Cool, we're tipping all of that in, uh, into our chicken field thingy. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm quite happy with uh, how I made this. It was it was a lot of work. Uh, I mean, to be honest, you I bought the sections of of, of wood. It's not, I, I, it's not like I literally nailed every single piece and cut every single piece. I bought the sections and just made sure the the uh, posts are all in. The corners are cemented. Uh, that was probably the biggest individual parts because i had to dig every hole quite deep but yeah it was quite fun actually i really enjoyed doing that uh it's uh it's awesome to see the uh field slash farm piece of land develop you know uh so what will happen next most likely is i'll probably gonna i'm probably gonna remove or not remove and i'm probably gonna move all of these i should have actually unhook the trailer but i'm probably going to move all of these around that one i can actually leave there uh, it's just these two this one should be fine because i can just lift it it's empty if i'm not mistaken so i can just lift it there push it back a little bit and then get the tractor in here so i'll do that this one is going to be difficult i might be able to reverse the tractor in here and maybe lift this side i'm going to try it, see what i can do uh but yeah well, uh, I'll show you guys when, when I'm done. There's no point in you guys sitting here watching me with a tripod stood here looking at me. That'll just be boring uh, and not at all exciting. Okay, so I'm going to get uh, get going with that. Uh, I'm to just actually, what I'm going to do is get the tractor in here. Because then at least I know... Wow, that's close. How far I need to go. Oof. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get out, get this done. Uh, and that way, yeah, get it done. Cool. I'm just going to try and lift it. All right, that was actually not too bad. Uh, it was quite heavy, but luckily I deadlift quite a lot. So as in exercise quite a lot. So that wasn't too bad. Uh yeah yeah i know okay i'll go i'll have to go and fill this fill this tractor because that's going to really annoy me and to be honest it's not scary but it's not ideal right uh let's lower this drop it off and i'll go hook up the sprayer and then that should be it really well that will be it. that is it I might actually just stop here. And that is now in place. Happy days. Right, what is next? Uh, as far as I'm aware, there's not much we can do now. Uh, need to turn this off before... Oh, actually, I need to go fill it. Okay, I'm going to go fill the tractor. So, ooh, I actually don't even know where the freaking gas station is. So I'm going to have to go find that and uh, fill it up. And then I'll show you guys... Uh, I'll See you guys when I'm there, I guess? Something like that. Alright, I checked on Google. Uh, on Google Maps. It's actually quite easy. It's literally a straight shot. Uh, this is a really good field to have as our first one. Because we really get to learn the town. Get to know the town. So it's, uh, it's really cool. So it's literally just straight down this road. Uh, I do need to make sure that I don't hit anyone or any cars as I cross this road. I have a tendency to just want to speed. Uh-oh, now we'll be fine. All right, and then it's just going to be on the right-hand side, right at the end. I think I see it already. That's really cool. 
Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm filling it soon. Oh, actually, we need to repair it. We need to take it up to Clever Motors and repair this. Uh, have it repaired, because it is in a bad state. I think that might be the best option, or the next thing we need to spend the money on, to be honest. All right, let's uh, get this in here. All filled, cost us $122, and I need to go, so I can maybe ask Zach. Actually, let me give Zach, before I actually go to the dealership, let me call, give Zach a call and, and ask him if I can maybe uh, check the tractor out and see what I can do myself uh, repairing it in his workshop. Alright, so Zach said he's happy with me uh, using his repair shop or his workshop for it uh, as long as I clean everything up and don't break anything. <laughs> so I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go drive over to Zach's uh, to his workshop and see what I can do. Maybe I can repair it myself. Uh, I'll probably... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I'll see you guys at Zach's. All right, here we are. Well, almost. Uh, here we are. Oop, that's a big bump. Come on, tractor, you can do it. All righty. So I'm gonna I'm gonna spend some time on the tractor, see what I can do, and uh, hopefully I can repair it and uh, make it uh, as good as new again. All right. Alrighty guys, uh, it is pretty much good to go. Uh, I had to uh, order a part, go pick it up at Clever Motors and replace the part. Uh, but it was uh, something in the gearbox. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know what it's called. I had to send a photo to Zach and he was like, oh, it's this thing. So uh, yeah, anyway, um, so I need to head back. I'm just going to turn around. I think that's going to be the best way. Uh, so I need to be, head back to the house, to Josiah's house, uh, because we've actually got a dinner tonight. Just uh, a couple of friends getting together uh, and just having dinner together. So I'm very excited for that. So I need to go have a shower, get ready for that. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys up to date with whatever's happening. But for now, oh, wow, that was a big dump. I should have gone slower than that. Uh, but for now, that's going to be the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it uh not much happened really there's a little bit of surprise and then just did some admin to be honest but hey ho uh every day especially during winter of farming is not going to be exciting uh now that we've got the chickens we might actually get a little bit more money we might get to do a little bit more uh, we need to make sure that they constantly have food which we have to unfortunately buy for now although they can eat barley so when we get the barley uh, we might just focus on that, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, we definitely need another field. I think that's that's going to be the, the first port of call for now. Get another field or a piece of land. Uh, I might even ask uh, Isaac if I can, I can maybe use that long piece there. I don't know. I'll have another chat with him at some point. Uh, our first eggs are actually out there already. So uh, I'll have a chat with him, see what we can do, see what I can organize, and maybe we can get, I don't know, another bit of a field so we can start making some money. Start living the easy life, and we need, we need, we need to move. Like, I, Josiah's great, but I just, I feel bad all the time, because, you know, Nobody likes somebody living with you forever, and we've we've lived with him for a, for quite a while now. So uh, I think it's it's getting to that point where we definitely need to move. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. See ya.